Hi all, welcome back to the another video. Have you ever run into a situation where you want to convert an Endnote project into an Endnote library? If that is applicable to you, then this video is for you. In which situation we need this? Let's suppose you were looking into some projects over the GitHub or any other Git repositories and you found some project which is very much useful in you, into your current project. But that project is an actual project instead of the library project which can be directly included into your project as a dependency. In that case, you might have to convert that Android project into a library so that you can directly use it into your project. So you can achieve the same thing by copy pasting the code but I don't recommend the copy pasting code because when you are doing copy pasting the code into your project then it is kind of a difficult to manage the code and to track the files uh, that you have copy pasted from that uh, from the another project and it will contradict the concept of clean architecture where you have to segregate or you need to create your different modules so without wasting time let's just start working on it and i'll just show you how we can achieve this thing and if you're not familiar with android library and also you can check out my previous uh videos and where i mentioned how to create an android library and publish the android library and how to import the libraries into our project but in this video we are converting a project into a library so that's a different topic and i mentioned all the links in the description so you can go to it I have already created one project uh, and this is just a very simple project and to convert an Android project into an Android library you can use any of your old projects or your current project or it can be any other random project from the git repositories and for this demo I'll be using my own project so the first thing you need to download that project I've already downloaded the project in my locals I'll just copy this thing work manager example so you don't have to copy the whole project you just have to copy that particular module so in our case the module is app you just have to copy it and just come into your project change the tab from android to project and just expand it and paste it so right now when you just click on ok it will give the conflict because it won't give conflict it will just will ask you whether you want to replace the code that you're copy pasting with the existing app module because you already have the module with the name of app so i'm just going to rename it work manager app i'm just going to give it this name and just click on ok and it is copying the whole module code whatever uh, inside that and it will paste it over here and now after it will paste it we will perform the same operation which android studio perform whenever we created new module or new library which i have shown in the previous videos now you can see the code has been copy pasted and you can expand like it as the build so which is an auto generated file you can just delete it because it will be regenerated and after that you have the gradle file and every code it is inside that manifest file and everything is there right so the first thing what you need to do is you need to convert that project into a library the first thing you need to go into uh, go into the gradle file of your project that you are copy pasted just change the com.android.application into com.android.library the next thing you have to remove the application id because there can only be one application id in your project the namespace you can give any namespace which which can be unique for your independent modules and you can just get rid of the version code and version name because they doesn't work here and the rest of the things you can just keep it as it is like that and we'll see if we'll face any issues or in that or not so just sync now and the syncing is completed now we need to add this module into our application so to do that let's come into settings.gradle first thing is include then what's that the name of your module copy paste it now let's sync it and see what exactly is going to happen okay i did a typo in the name uh, that's fine and if you can see the module has been highlighted with the whole color so that means it has been 
added into it in this project basically and to remove the typo I'll just rename the module which is the manage from amateur and that's that that's good for now right so now we have to include this work manager app into our main module to do that we'll just first we'll change the tab now go to our main module and here we'll just go the implementation project and the module name that's fine sync it now this is the time where you might get error whenever you are including the project so there are no errors so that means the code has been added successfully now the next thing is we'll just see main activities there resource and everything gradle file manifest is also there and you can see the exported and this is your main and launcher and you know that there can be only one launcher activity in your code so we'll just go to our this manifest file of of the module that you have added and we'll just remove the manifest file above we'll just remove the intent filter and we'll just make exported false so by doing this there can be only one launcher activity that will be our main activity from the main module app whenever you're working with the libraries you have to make sure that the naming convention the name that you're giving to your file should be prefixed with your module name because that will avoid creating the conflict between the compiler whenever the compiler trying to compile the project why because if the name is same that will always be overridden by your main module okay that means if you have given any color or any resource file then it can be overridden by your main module or it can be by the other modules so right now we have the main activity so i'll just rename the main activity and to rename it i'll just i'm just using the shortcut or you can do just write um, refactor rename and this is this work manager main activity and instead of selecting all the project files i'll just select the current module and i'll do the refactor so it's going to rename this and you can and i'll just rename it here as well work manager main activity okay it, it doesn't rename that so i'll just copy it I'll do it for this as well work manager main activity that's fine and let's do it and you can change your themes as well the color themes or type and you just have to prefix it with your application name you can give it work manager wm or any other name depending on your module that you have created now let's try to access it over here main module and i'll just remove this code because we will be directly using the main activity uh, the work manager main activity for our work i'll just remove this as well that's fine and i'm gonna just start that activity intent was that this work manager main activity this class.java and start activity that's it so i'm just going to start the activity whenever that uh, this app this app is launched i'm going to start that another activity and we will see and you can see what is the ui for this thing for the work manager cool so you can see like there are three buttons we have inside the work manager activity now we'll just run our app and we'll see if there is any error at the runtime or 
compile time. There are some cases where you might get errors during the runtime. Here also even after the module has been converted and added to your project. Now we have got one error which is an application theme value style theme uh, because it is also present in the work manager app and it is also present in our uh, main application. I'll show you here we are using this theme and here if you come here also we are using this another theme. So we cannot we don't want to remove it for our main module. We will just go to our work manager. We'll just remove it from here because the activity that we have we are already uh, passing the theme to it. And now let's rerun it. And the application is launching. And you can see the app has started that work manager activity. And how we can check because in the main activity we have not mentioned any finish method. So when I'm, I'm going to click back it will go back to the, a blank screen. Okay so we can see there is a blank screen over here. And when we click on back again then it's it's going to the home screen. Now let's I'm just going to rerun this app again. Right so in this way we can convert any project into a library module. And whatever the attributes you are mentioning inside the manifest of your application that will always be overridden by your manifest file in main apps like the round icon or the icon labels or whatever the the name you're passing so because they can be only one app icon one app name and so you can get rid of this thing and this is also and even i've removed all the attributes from the work manager this module the app will run without any error and just rerun the app and you can see the app launched and there is no error right so this is quite easy to convert any project into library but the example which i showed you it had only one kotlin file and very minimal code exists here and the dependencies is, are also very minimal so it was very, very easy to convert it but there are challenges when you convert a very huge project into a library because the dependency versions like the firebase or any other any other uh, dependency version or the gradle plugin version which that project is uh, using and as compared to your project can be different so there can be compatibility issues at the compile time or at the runtime which you need to fix by upgrading the version or fixing the version to make it compatible with your current project and this might require changing at the code level also so it totally depends so whenever you you are selecting any project to convert you need to check the compatibility also and if you still want to use that project then obviously you have to figure out whether uh, is there any dependency issues or conflict issues are there and if it is there then you have to dissolve it by fixing the versions and everything so i hope uh, this video is very helpful for you thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video